More than 60 farms across Maine have been flagged by regulators as having some type of contamination from toxic chemicals known as PFAS. The industrial compounds were in wastewater sludge, trucked to farms used as fertilizer, leaching into well water and soil for decades. A number of farms had to pull their products from shelves, including Misty Brook Farm, which is in Albion. Well, now a little later, a little year later, excuse me, the organic farm is finally emerging from the crisis, but there are still challenges. News Center Maine's Vivian Lee has an update. The work never stops at Misty Brook Farm. Cows and calves, sheep and pigs need to be fed and stalls cleaned out. The farm sits on more than 600 acres and is owned by Brendan and Keisha Holmes. The father of three says the operation is finally beginning to emerge from what many would describe as a year from hell. Cash flow is really tight. We're behind on some of our bills. Almost a year ago, the couple had to replace an entire herd of Jersey cows after they consumed hay contaminated with PFAS chemicals purchased from an organic farm. That farm was not aware of the contamination at the time. Mystery Brook was forced to pull dairy and meat products from more than 50 stores and pay for their testing. That included disposing 6,000 pounds of meat inventory in the landfill and throwing away milk from contaminated cows. And dump their milk every day for 11 months until their levels finally were down to non-detect. State agricultural officials test the milk every other week and have approved putting dairy products from the impacted cows back on the shelves. The farm's pork and beef are also testing below the state's safety limits. The couple is also working on transitioning 100 acres of their land that was flagged for low levels of the chemicals after being spread with sludge years ago. Into grain production because the grain seeds don't pick up the compounds. The couple is still waiting for payments for the loss of tens of thousands of gallons of milk from the USDA's Dairy Indemnity Payment Program, which disqualifies the farm from getting help from the state's income replacement program. Keisha, who sits on two different subcommittees managing a $60 million PFAS fund, is grateful that their customers and the community stuck by them. PFAS testing results on their products are all available on the farm's website, and she hopes their efforts will inspire other farms. Prove that there's a way to move forward and, and be an example for other people to, to continue. To find new and safe ways to farm their land. In Albion, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine.